Am I truly generous? Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Did you know about the starfish story? This story was adapted from the Star Thrower by Lauren Isley. Once upon a time, there was a wise man who used to go to the ocean to do his writing. He had a habit of walking on the beach before he began his work. One day, as he was walking along the shore, he looked down the beach and saw a human figure moving like a dancer. He smiled to himself at the thought of someone who would dance to the day and so he walked faster to catch up. As he got closer, he noticed that the figure was that of a young man and that what he was doing was not dancing at all. The young man was reaching down to the shore, picking up small objects and throwing them into the ocean. He came closer still and called out, Good morning! May I ask what it is that you are doing? The young man paused, looked up, and replied, Throwing starfish into the ocean. I must ask then, why are you throwing starfish into the ocean? Asked the somewhat startled wise man. To this, the young man replied, The sun is up and the tide is going out. If I don't throw them in, they'll die. Upon hearing this, the wise man commented, but young man, do you not realize that there are miles and miles of beach and there are starfish all along every mile? You can't possibly make a difference. At this, the young man bent down, picked up yet another starfish, and threw it into the ocean. As, as it met the water, he said, I made a difference to that one. This story beautifully illustrates the power of individual acts of generosity and the impact they can have on the lives of others, no matter how small they may seem. The young man's compassion and determination to save the starfish one at a time showcases the value of making a difference in someone's life, even if we can't help everyone. Acts of kindness, no matter how seemingly insignificant, can have a profound impact on individuals and inspire others to do the same. It encourages us to embrace the power of generosity, showing us that even in a single act can make a significant difference in someone's life. Today's Gospel invites us to be compassionate and generous like our Father in Heaven. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down. And the whole crowd stood along the shore, and he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once, because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on the rich soil and produced fruit, a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The sower in the parable is God, who generously scatters the seeds, symbolizing God lavishly sharing His blessings and the good news of salvation to everyone and everywhere. God cannot be outdone in generosity because of His unconditional and compassionate love to each and every one of us, regardless of race, nationality, background, status, or circumstances. Just like the young man in the starfish story, where the young man compassionately picks up one starfish at a time and throw it back to the sea to give that starfish another chance to live. All of us are invited to be compassionate and generous just like the young man in the starfish story. Let us pray. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord Jesus, 
thank you for loving us unconditionally, for suffering, dying on the cross, for your resurrection and ascension, and for inviting us to be compassionate and generous. Please forgive us for the many times that we have been selfish and indifferent and insensitive. We ask for your grace to empower us to be truly compassionate and generous, just like you, Lord Jesus, to everyone and everywhere, every day. Breathe in me, Holy Spirit, that my thoughts may all be holy. Act in me, Holy Spirit, that my work to me be holy. Draw my heart, the Holy Spirit, that I love, but what is holy. Strengthen me, Holy Spirit, to defend all that is holy. Guard me then, the Holy Spirit, that I always may be holy. Amen. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen.